Okay, this is for replacing the floor in Photoshop with a Photoshop seamless pattern. Let's go to full screen mode, click on the pin mode, make sure you're in path mode, and create a complete path around the floor. You don't need to be exactly precise because we're gonna come back and use the select tool to adjust these dots. And once you finish, use the select tool, drag a square over the dot you wanna adjust and use the arrows on the keyboard to move it up, down, left, or right. Okay, once we do that, we're going to now create a new fill layer. Doesn't matter the color. And now we're going to do a new layer, a vector layer, on top of, on top of it. And when you draw the vector layer, this is going to be about how far your floor reaches, so I always like to draw it a little bigger than the current image. Make sure you convert this to a smart object. If you don't convert it to a smart object, it won't look right when you're changing the perspective later on. Let's go into blend mode. This is where we add our pattern. Hopefully you've already loaded your pattern in. If you haven't, there should be pattern options. When you have your pattern to give it a realistic effect, you can also change the gradient overlay. I like using radial. There are two windows in this image, so really there should be two radiuses, but I'm not concerned about that right now. Let's press. You can also scale your pattern, but ours looks good here. Let's transform that, convert that into a smart object. And go to the edit menu, drop down to transform, and press distort. Now take the dots on your floor and align them with the dots on the image's ground in the corner to the room. It's okay if there's some overlapping because we're going to clip it to our base layer by doing option, click the line, and there you go. And that's how you create a new floor with a seamless pattern in Photoshop.